Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. Anything else you want to say to your fans, man? All right, man, shout out to Dante's Boxing Nation. You know, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, Earl Spence Jr., my whole name, and just look out for me. Yes, sir. Let me dig into your brain, folks falling like rain. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So, Vasil Lomachenko. Gets another dominant performance win over Mariaga. He got touched up a little bit more. Got his face a little bruised up. But nevertheless, he got the win. Stopped him, dropped him, made him quit. Now the question is, what is Loma going to do about this Guillermo Rigondeau situation? That is the question now. Because we already know, Rigo ain't no Mariaga. And Rigo is aggressively calling out Lomachenko. He's been aggressively calling this man out for quite some time right now. It absolutely makes no sense for Lomachenko to be fighting at 130, fighting the Mariagas and the Rocky Martinez's, but he won't fight Guillermo Rigo, who's willing to move up two weight classes to make this fight come to fruition. Matter of fact, this is what Rigo had to say about Lomachenko's performance. Quote, please, even my baby son could beat someone that is not fighting back. Can't wait to hear what the fake boxing news is going to say. Some fighters demand bigger pay and lesser opponents. I demand better pay and the best opponents. And this is the thing about Guillermo Rigo, guys. Rigo has always been calling out the best fighters in the world. Rigo is one of the rare fighters in the sport of boxing that is willing to move up two weight classes just to fight a younger, taller, bigger Lomachenko. Lomachenko is not showing any urgency right now to prove that he's the best pound for pound fighter in the world. He would prove that if he were to get in the ring with Guillermo Rigo and beat Rigo. Now, of course, he said things in the past like, oh, I don't need Rigo and Rigo's chasing me. And then later on, he said he's ready to kick Rigo's ass, but he ain't walking the walk yet. He's talking the talk, but he hasn't walked the walk yet. So, if Lomachenko, if his next fight is not at 135 against Mikey Garcia, hell, even if he's not giving Orlando Salido a rematch, his very next fight should be against Guillermo Rigondo. There should be no other fighter that he should be facing. And even if Rigo is not his next opponent, they should be building towards that, that fight. Because see, I'll tell you right now, these decafs are praying that that fight doesn't happen because they know what time it is. And when I say these decafs don't want this fight to happen, all you have to do is scroll down the comments on Rigo's page. Anything he posts about Lomachenko, just wanting to fight Lomachenko, you got these racist decafs saying all this racist stuff towards black people. It has nothing to do with the actual fight, which is the true definition of race baiting. But of course, when they post this racist stuff, not one person responds back to them and says, hey man, why are you race baiting? Why are you trying to make things worse than they are? Why are you even bringing up race? They don't do that. They don't do that at all. Because all of these decafs, they encourage that type of behavior. And then when a black person reports racism, these are the same fans that turn around and say, hey man, I don't want to hear about race. Why are you bringing up race? Blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. 
You see how the double standards work? But it's all good, though, because we're going to keep exposing them left and right. So let's see what Lomachenko decides to do. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Bye bye, man, Guillermo Rigo. Let's see who Loma's going to fight. It's time for Loma to put down the Mariagas and the Martinez's and get some of that Rigo and Mikey Garcia and all the other big names. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.